Hey, Michael, I'm Asa. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Okay, Asa, I think uh, we can get started whenever you're ready, and then we'll, I'll record this one too. So if anybody couldn't make it in, I'll send the link out afterwards after it you know, processes. So it will be out there for folks for the whole week. But yeah, you can um, take it away. Um, Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another group lesson. And I thank you very much for adjusting your schedules uh, for a change I had in mind. So we'll get as much done and have as much fun as we can today. So hope everybody got the additional sheets that uh, Nick sent out to you, just so we can go a little further than where we were last week. So a slight review is remember, you can have uh, we can roll up into a ball or today I also have paper towels, whatever works, just so we can work on our hands. Give you the black key exercises that we were doing. So we just want to take that. We'll do our right hand first, make the little ball in our hand, and then I'm going to take that, put it on top of the keys, like so. And then I'm gonna release my hand off of it. And I wanna keep this shape, okay? My fingertips need to be curved. So this is called curved fingering. This is called flat fingering. Pancakes, we call that. Don't want that. Even though I'm hungry for breakfast, I'm not gonna do it. So, and if I do that in my left hand, same principle, I make the ball inside my hand. And from the side, I will turn the phone this way to help you a little bit. If I'm this way, I just move my hand off of it, trying to keep that shape. And if you remember, I said, think of like having a halo or a little orange inside your hand, a little ball, that's our shape we want. So the exercise we want to do, if we can pull it up from before, is called the two black key smash, just so we can do that exercise. And then I can maybe even show you a variation we'll start working on next week. So Nick, are you able to have that in our screens for them? Two black key smashes, is that what you want? Yeah, it was near the original set of seven. Sure, I'll put that up. I'll leave that up for a minute or two there. Okay, so everybody, that's what we remember. We had our hand shape we just made, and then I'm gonna take down towards the left side. If you remember our friend Mozart Mouse is to the left lower end of the keys. So as you're looking at that, I'll just play it for you. Smash bunny hop, 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 smash bunny hop. We're at the top, now we're going high to low. Smash bunny hop, 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 smash bunny hop. And then if anybody was listening, that was a trick. The person on the low side is supposed to be Beethoven Bear, and the person on the top is supposed to be Mozart Mouse because he has a squeaky voice. So Nick, thanks for keeping that sheet up. Now I'm gonna do my left hand. I'm way up high, doing two and one on the two black keys. Going downward, bunny hop bounce, bunny hop bounce, bunny hop bounce. And now I'm going to go from the lowest part near Beethoven the Bear up to Mozart Mouse. Smash bunny hop, 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 smash bunny hop. So if we could all just do that together, I will turn my phone around and hope you can see my hand okay. And you can do it with me. Okay, there you go. One and two on the lower end. Can you see that okay, Nick? Yeah. Yep. Great. So here we go, everybody, on the count of three. One, two, three. Smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. Smash bunny hop. Then I go from here, high to low. Smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. Now I'm going to switch to my left hand, everybody. Curve shape. Two and one. Go up high. And I reach the highest group of two black keys. One, two, three. Here we go. Smash bunny hop. 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 
Then we're going to go back up, low to high. Smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny So for anybody that that is really easy and you're doing show you and we definitely will do a little bit more with it next week this variation is called a wrist roll technique and we're going to count to the number five so i will show you how it is on my hand again it's just a variation if you wish to try it so i'm in the same position now i'm going to separate the smash i'm going to go thumb two thumb two thumb and i do the same smash bunny hop move thumb two thumb two thumb Notice, for those of you that are trying it, I'm doing a wrist roll at the same time. So my wrist roll is left for a thumb to the right for two. Again, after I count to five, I do the smash bunny hop leave. One, two, one, two, one. And I go up here. One, two, one, two, one. Asa, could you turn the phone just a, a little bit? You're drifting a little off the keyboard. Is that better? A little more so we can see all of your hand. Oh, okay. Is that good? Move it a little towards the, that's better. There you go. Aha, uh -huh. great. Good, good. Thanks, Nick. I'll get rid of my yep. pens. Huh, thank you. One, two, one, two, one. Okay. So then I, same principle, I'm at high. I'm gonna do the same pattern going down. Wrist roll. We Make still sure can't see your hands. Sorry? Sorry. We still can't see your hands. I'm on top of it. Can you see my face? Well, like that we can, but when it's down, it's it's turning a little too far that way. You want to turn it up a little more. Is this okay? Other way. That's better. That way. Okay. Yes. That way. So now we count to five. One, two, three, four, five. We lift, land to the next group. Next group. Next group. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. So now we'd like to switch to our left hand. We're going to use pointer finger, which is two, one, which is my thumb. And I'm going to start on the two first. So hopefully I have the right angle here. Is this okay, Nick? You can go there. That's better. Yeah. That's better. Okay. So the lower note is going to be two. Upper note is one. Two, one, two, one, two. And I do my leap. Two, one, two, one, two, bunny hop bounce. Two, one, two, one, two, bunny hop bounce down. Counting to five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then what went low must go back up high. Two, one, two, one, two. Two, one, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Next one up. Next one up. And the final one. So if we remember from last week, my right hand pattern low. So I'm crossing my arm over my body. I work up to the high part of the keyboard to the right, and then I go back down. My left hand though, I'm gonna start crossing my body, high notes down to the low notes and back up. This helps you know whether you're sitting too close or too far away from your keyboard. Ideally, we'd like to have your elbow be slightly in front of your body as you're playing. So that allows me to have good range of motion. If my elbows are right at my ribs, a lot of times it forces my shoulders to go up and that's tight playing and not gonna be good for you. Okay, 
So the next sheet we would like to see, please, Nick, we're going to review the three black key smashes. And then I also can show you the variation. Sure. So we'll wait for Nick to do that. Yep. Okay. So everybody look at that. I'm going to play it. If you want to play along with me, that's okay. And then we'll do it one time with me showing you hopefully the best camera angle I can find. So right hand. Remember, it's in that curved position. I find the lowest group of three black keys. Fingers one, two, three are in place. Two. Here I go. Smash bunny, hop, smash bunny, hop, smash. Smash bunny, hop, smash bunny, smash bunny, hop, smash bunny, hop. Must go back down. High and down. Smash bunny, hop, smash bunny, hop, smash bunny, hop. Smash. Now I switch, left hand's crossing to the right, and I'm doing the top high, ready, and smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. Now low to high again, smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. And if I'm able to help you with Nick showing me playing it. Hello. Here we go. Is this an okay position, Nick? Yeah, make sure it stays up up there. This Good. height. Good. I'll do my best. So everybody, one, two, three, curved. And here I go. Ready? And smash bunny hop. Smash bunny. <gasps> Smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny, hop, smash bunny hop. Then I'm gonna go down. Smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny, hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. I switch now to my left hand, curving them, going up high. And here we go. Smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny, smash bunny, smash bunny, smash bunny, smash bunny, low to high, please. Smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. And you'll do better because you won't have to fight the floor. So the variation now you is we're still going to be thinking of five sounds but we're going to play thumb two three two thumb in my right hand so i'm just separating it but always going low up high back down here's what that looks like one two three two one and i lift go to the next group one two three two one Bunny hop bounce, next one. One, two, three, two, one. Bunny hop bounce. One, two, three, two, one. Please notice I'm rolling my wrist left to right. And then back down to the left. One, two, three, two, one. Last one. One, two, three, two, one. Then I go back down. Remember counting to five, shift. Down one, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. Bunny hop. One, two, three, two, one. Bunny hop. One, two, three, two, one. Bunny hop. One, two, three, two, one. So the smash bunny hop has been a vertical up and down. This variation is making your hand go left to right, right to left. And if you still want to think of the idea of having that ball of Kleenex or paper towel or a ball or a Tangelo or a halo inside your hand, that's the shape we're going over. So now I will do the same idea with the left hand, but going low to high means I start with my tall finger. So I go three, two, one, two, three, three, two, one, oh. two, three. Okay. So up high for the left hand. Three, two, one, two, three. Change position. Three, two, one, two, three. And I'm wrist rolling to the right and then the left. Left to right. 
If you want to exaggerate a little more, used to it. Now I go low to high. Three, two, one, two, three. We do our lift. Three, two, one, two, three. And 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 our lift. Three, two, one, two, three. So if you didn't feel comfortable doing that, it's a okay. We will review that a little bit next week. Okay. The next thing we wanted to do was just do a little bit of review. I showed you these last week, hopefully, or in your paper. This is our treble clef. And that's where I'm going to be using my right hand most of the time in my music reading. And this symbol is our bass clef. I'm currently using the music flashcards that I think was on my original welcome sheet that hopefully got sent out to you. Should be available at our stores. That's the bass clef symbol. That's what I'm gonna be doing for left hand. So in our music that we're going to be reading near the end of our group lessons, we'll have different notes on lines and spaces. So here is an example. If the line is going through that circular shape called our note head, these are called line notes. And in this pattern, they're starting up, going down and skipping back up. So I call this a skip pattern. And music will also see them sometimes this way. Spaces, the line is above and below the note head. So again, this is starting high, low, high, or skipping down and then skipping back up. When I do something like this shape, this is easy. This is just the same sound repeated. These are called space notes. These are called line notes. And when we do sort of the pattern I was doing in the variation, this is our steps, key beside key. So we have a line note stepping down to a space note back up to a line note, or we can get fancy and go space note down to a line note, up to a space note, okay? So again, these are called steps. These are called repeated notes, same line or same space. And if I skip from space to space or line to line, I get skips. So that's just a little bit of music theory for there right now. And what I'd like to do is bring up our Farm song. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. Can you see, or do you have this paper, Nick? You can bring up on there. You want uh, farm song right hand or farm song left hand? This is the left hand, please. Left hand? Okay, I'll put that one up. Yep. Yep. There you go. Farm song left hand. Beautiful. So if you see in this page, everybody, I have a little guide up in the farm. It says X equals a skip and an arrow straight across equals hold. And then we have that nice little curved arrow shape, which is our bunny hop bounce we were doing in our black key smashes. So in this song, I go. So I went three to five. That was a skip. Five to four is a step. Jumping up the thumb. So that's how it sounds. Now, if you look in the upper left-hand box, that's where I'm telling you where you can put your fingers. Pinky and Ring Man are gonna go in the first two black keys. Three, two, one, sit on the three black keys. So if you follow along with the numbers with me, you could even tap on a flat surface if you want. We'll just show you how the song goes and then I'll show you live how to play it. One, two, here. I go three, 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 five, four, four, five. I hold it. Thumb, thumb, two, two, three, and I hold. Three, 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 skip, four, four, five, hold. Thumb, thumb, two, two, three, and hold. 
Now here's the fun part. I go to the left, the whole way down to the first group of two black keys and I play the five. I bunny hop bounce to the next one. I bunny hop bounce. Now there's four of them. Bunny hop bounce, four fives again. And here I continue. Three, three, skip, four, four. Thumb, thumb, two, two, three. Okay. If Nick wants to change it to live, I will show you how my fingers work it. Yep. Just in case I lost. Key thing okay. is green is left hand. Okay. And here we go. Can you see that okay? If you turn it a little more so we can see all the keys, that looks perfect there. Thanks. This one's perfect. Oh, keep it up. Awesome. Uh, up a little bit. There you go. Beautiful. Yep. So, pinky. Four, ring man, two black keys, everybody. Tall man, first of the three group, two on the second of the three, thumb on the third of the three. Here I go. Two, ready, and three, 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 skip, five, four, four, five, hold. Thumb, thumb, two, two, three. Second line, three, 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 skip, five, four, five, and hold. Thumb, thumb, two, two, three. Here's the trick. We go down here. Five, five, five. Bunny hop bounce. Five, five, five. Bunny hop bounce. Five, 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 five. Up here. Five, 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 five. And we're in place. We can play the end of the song here. Three, 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 five, four, four, five. Thumb, thumb, two, two, three. How did everybody do if you tried it with me? Could you just let Nick know or if you need me to do it again? I think it's okay. Okay, sounds good. So the next sheet I think I would like to do Lamb song. And we can probably do the right hand. Da -da 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 -da. Red. It looks like this thing. Okay, that one. Yep. Okay. So it says black key, lamb song, and it's in red. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yep. So I'm going to put my right hand, fingers thumb two, three on the three black keys. Finger four is on vacation, doing nothing. Maybe it's in Florida having a good time at the beach. Pinky's on the first of the two black keys. So notice as in the farm song, the X for the skip is there. The arrow on its side is meaning hold like it did in farm song. So here goes lamb song, two, ready, tall man. Three, two, one, two, three, three, three. Hold, two, 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 hold, three, five, five, hold. Three, two, one, two, three, 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 two, two, three, two, one, and hold. And if we're okay, we'll try it live. Okay. Amp position okay? Yes. Okay, so everybody, again, thumb, two, three on a three black group. Four is doing nothing, airtime. Five is on the first of the two black keys. So here I'm ready to go. One, two, singing fingers. Three, two, one, two, three, three, three. Hold, two, two, two. Hold, three, five, five. Hold, three, two, one, two, three, 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 two, two, three, two, one, and hold. 
So if you notice when I play three, two, one, I'm incorporating that wrist roll technique, which just makes my playing easier to do. So if anybody has any questions, send them to Nick. Otherwise, I'll tell you the next thing. Experiment. Okay, what's next? So what's next would be the left hand. Because some people are good with the right hand. I want you to be good with both hands. It looks like that. Left hand, black key, lamb song. And we have the words okay. for anybody that doesn't know the words. Depending on your age group. Yep, it has Beautiful. the words. I see. Yes. So we are now putting pinky, ring man, and tall man on the three black key group, everybody. Two's on vacation trying to get some sun. And thumb is on the first of the two black keys. So I'm covering my fingers, placing them on those black keys. And here I go. Two, ready. Three, four, five, four, three, three, three. Hold. Four, four, four. Hold. Three, one, one. Hold. Three, four, five, four, three, 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 four, four, three, four, five. And we'll do it one more time and singing the words if you want. One. To try again. Mary had a little lamb. Hold little lamb. Hold little lamb. Hold Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Great. So I hope everybody can see that. And Nick, I'll show them one more time on my hand for fun. Okay. Is that okay? Oh, that, yeah, that looks good. Great. So everybody, five, four, three, three black group, two's doing nothing, and thumb is up here on the group of two first key. One, two, ready, and three, four, five, four, three, 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 four, 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 three, one, one, three, four, five, four, three, 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 four, four, three, four. So what would be nice with either the lamb song in the right hand or the left hand, we have all these other keys and I'm always concerned about whoever's in charge of cleaning, we need to help them out. So I just played it here, but I could do it in this position going lower or this position. So that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six positions with my left hand that I could do this. And if I switch to my right hand, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when it's not gonna be the same number of six as if your keyboard would be shorter or you have an instrument that has less keys. Again, my piano has 88 keys, so I can play it six different positions and see if I can get my piano technique to be good. I hear the sounds coming out of it correctly and curving my fingers. So there's that. And I'm gonna stand for a second. Cause just in case you need a little momentary break, we have to ask a couple important questions. So what do you call a lion whose car breaks down five miles before he gets to the zoo? Hmm. Lion breaks down a car five miles from a zoo. You have to call them a cab, but don't try to get one in New York in normal times. What is a whale's favorite game? Hmm. So I think of Jonah, the whale. A whale's favorite game is swallow the leader. <laughs> and why are fish so bad at basketball? It's not because they don't have arms. Fish are so bad at basketball because they don't like getting close to the net. <laughs> Where do dogs go if they lose their tails? Hmm. Not because they chewed it off, probably. But where do dogs go if they lose their tail? They go to the retail store. <laughs> yeah. 
there are there you go so now this one is for all the smart people out there which is everybody tuning in i know so listen closely what do you call bears with no ears bears with no ears don't hate me for it but it's b <laughs> okay there could be more coming you never know so it's like prepare you for that okay. so we want to look at now we had touched upon that last week a little bit because i want to do some rhythms with you and it looks like this rhythm key yep yep okay okay Rhythm Very key. good. So everybody, if I'm doing the circle on the left at the top, I clap my hands. Motion. So it sounds like this. Whole note for beats. And the other symbol is just the four straight lines, meaning the same thing in some of my rhythm sheets. Stepping down to the next one, the two woo wee sounds like this. Two woo wee. And again, three straight lines. Two woo is like the letter D, it looks like. Two woo, or two straight lines. Blue is filled in, blue, or a straight line. And then we have jello, or the beam connecting those two lines. So we use those words just to help people out a little bit before them. If you study an instrument in school or singing, you may have been told different names and that's okay we're just doing that to try to help you with some of our rhythm that we're doing so just take a second to look at that and then nick if you can find in your stuff uh, i had sent out a rhythm sheet and then i had the rhythm sheet but we'll start with the first one the rhythm sheet which should have the first rhythm sheet rhythm one first. yeah Okay. Yeah, the rhythm sheet's up. Good, good. So if everybody looks at number one, I will clap that for you and speak you through it. So, one, two, here I go. Two, woo, blue, 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 two, woo. Jello, 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 two, woo. So the one thing to help you by using these symbols is the more things I connect or the blacker things become, usually the quicker the rhythm is. If we leave things hollow, usually we hold them longer and that note would last. So number two is written differently. I have the symbols on the left key that Nick had had it before and hopefully you have. So number two is whole note for beat. Two woo wee, blue, 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 blue. Jello, beat, jello, whole note for beats. The advantage of number three, if you like the vertical lines better, number three is the same as number two. So I'm gonna do it and whatever helps you. If you wanna look at number two, you read those symbols better than the symbols in number three, that's okay. They're just exactly the same rhythm. Number three or number two, here I go. Two, ready, <laughs> hold no four beats. Two, woo, we, blue, 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 jello, blue, jello, hold no four beats. Then I'm gonna look at number four. We're back to the symbols are on the left side of your rhythm key. And then I did say, huh, it looks a lot like number one with the line version. So here's number four, everybody ready? And two, woo, blue, 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 two, woo, jello, 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 two, woo. So again, the more black, the quicker it the less filled in, the slower it's going to go. So, Nick, can you see me okay here? Yeah, do you want me to take the sheet down? 
Yes, if you want. Hopefully they have it or they can at least watch what I'm doing because I want them just to see what my hands are doing. Okay, well, they should have a small image of you uh, on here as well while the sheet's up. I'm shrinking, <laughs> shrinking. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So we should be able so to see So here we go. Here's there. number one, everybody. So just watch what I do with my hands, and it should help you. Ready? Two, woo, blue, 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 blue. Two, woo. Jello, 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 two, woo. Number two, so the whole note I'm going to do clap and then I'm going to move my hands for beat two, for beat three, for beat four. So here we go. Number two, ready, and whole note for beats two, woo, we, blue, 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 jello, blue, jello, whole note for beats. Again, three is the same as two. It's just the vertical lines. If you're better at reading it that way, here's number three. Whole note four beats two, woo, we, blue, 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 jello, blue, jello, whole note four beats. And now number four, or if reading the lines, remember number one is the same as number four. So here we try this one. Two woo, blue, 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 two woo, jello, 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 two woo. If anybody has a question, just please direct it to Nick. Otherwise, we'll try the next rhythm sheet because you're doing a good job. So rhythm sheet continued. Yep. Cool. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So I alternated this one, the line version of simple, and then the round shaped notes in six, line version symbols in seven, and round shaped notes in eight. So I will clap mm -hmm. through five, six, seven, eight. They are meant to be a little trickier. So if anybody has a challenge, it's a-okay. But rhythm is so important to music, especially on the keyboard. We try to learn our notes. And if we learn our rhythm and we add dynamic, suddenly we're making beautiful music. So rhythm is very important. Number five, here I go. Blue, jello, blue, blue, two. Jello, jello, blue, jello, jello, blue, two, two. Would they still be able to see what I'm doing with my hands, Nick? Yeah, they should. <clears throat> Zoom okay. puts the well, video I'll just do that to again, the right. Everybody. I'm sorry, I missed what you said. I just that Zoom has the video to the right, and then this okay. full screen is the sheet I put up. Wonderful. So I'll just make my motions a little bigger in case that helps everybody. Number five, two, ready, and blue, jello, blue, blue. Two woo, jello, jello, blue, jello, jello, blue, two woo, two woo. Some people may wonder what are the dots I have there? Those are imaginary bar lines, lines which help separate our notes whenever we're reading the music on the song sheets. So you just gain an introduction to it now. We're after the bigger shape notes. Number six, here I go. Two woo we blue 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 two woo two woo blue 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 two woo we number seven I think it looks the same as six what do you think here's seven two woo we blue 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 two woo two woo blue 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 two woo Number eight. Oh, that second measure in number eight is going to be a little tricky, but we can do it. 
eight, two, here I go. Blue, 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 blue. Jello, 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 two. Jello, blue, blue, two, blue, blue, whole note for beats. If any of those you would like me to explain or demonstrate again, please just send a quick note to Nick. Oops, sorry. Rhythm sheet continued. Hello. Hey, so you, you can keep going. Good. So when everybody just remember the staff, the five lines of four spaces. Earlier, we mentioned that when I use the green, it's for the left hand. And our spaces are all cows eat grass and our lines are good boys do fine arithmetic. So the way I encourage my students to remember that everybody is if I take my left hand, put it in front of my face, I recreate the five lines here. And then here are my four spaces between my fingers. So I always say if you're stuck in traffic or you're waiting for somebody because they're not ready and you are, you can go through your lines and spaces. So for the base buff left hand, good boys do find arithmetic. All cows eat grass. And then da -da 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 -da, we have our treble clef one, which hopefully I have still beside me here. I do, it's scary. Trouble clef, our spaces are F-A-C-E, base, and the lines are every good boy deserves fudge. So I always say to my students, they eat it in their face. And the way I do that same principle is I take my right hand in front of my face so I can see it. Here's my five lines, here's my four spaces. I always use the pointer finger of the opposite hand and I go, Every good boy deserves fudge and eats it as F A C E. So I remember right hand human eating fudge, left hand, I need to be able to use both fingers to count in case the cows don't find enough grass and we have to figure out how to count so we can buy enough feed for them. So left hand animal eating right hand human eating. Just a little trick I've learned over the years so that helps you. So what I'd like to do now is jump to the sheet called TP. Nick? TP exercise. Yeah, TP exercise, it looks like this. All right. Awesome, awesome. So, the main thing I want you to think about is your hand shape, everybody. So if you notice where I have the red fingers in the upper left-hand corner, and in this triangular shape, which is denoting the TP, my thumb says white key, two is on a black key, and three is on a white key. If you look down at your keys, the black accidental keys are higher than the white keys are. So if I do this exercise, I could pick any white key anywhere, as long as there's a black key right beside it. And to the right of that black key is another white key. So the idea would be white key, black key, white key, white key, black key, white key coming down. So maybe Nick can keep that there and I can do this. So can you see this okay, Nick? Yeah, I can see that. Hopefully everybody can see that. If not, I can go back to it, but it looks good. Okay, so, let me know okay. If it's not. so here I have my white key, everybody, a black key beside it, and another white key. So that makes my finger two almost recreate that triangular shape, if you can see that. See how the two is higher than the thumb and two. So I turn it this way, and I go thumb, two, three. I lift it off, release it. And then I go three, two, one, and I release it. 
Uh, now I'm going to turn it back and forth. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one. And the arrow up just means I'm lifting and releasing. Okay. I don't ever want you to think that playing the piano means you got to smash things down. We're not making smashed or mashed potatoes or taking frustration out on anything. We want to have beautiful sound. Now I'm using a little bit more wrist roll. So we have so many keys. I'd use my left hand. I can do the same group, just a position lower. So here's white key, black key, white key, lift it. White key, black key, white key, lift it. Now count to nine if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and lift off. So I'll do that one more time. And if we want a variation, yeah, I can go here. Three, two, one, lift. Thumb, two, three, lift. Three, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. Oh. Did that work out for everybody that you could see that? Looks good. Awesome sauce. So that please could be hands alone and that would be so cool. And what I would like to do now just for a couple minutes is ask you to maybe think for me, I'd like you to listen to me do a couple short songs. And what would be neat is when you hear the song, what does it make you think of or remember? So the first song is A Waltz by Brahms. And if you've had a stressful day so far, or you just need a moment to relax, um, tell me in maybe one word or one sentence what this might remind you of or what makes you think of something else. So let's see, I might be able to use another gizmo I got. Can you see my fingers here, everybody? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. There's Clarence, he'll watch us. So close your okay. eyes, listen, and then come up with either a word or a phrase that would describe what this makes you think of. This next song is maybe something you've heard from a musical or a movie. And I'm gonna play it up in the music box position. So this is called Edelweiss. What does it make you think of or remember?
So if you could share your sentence describing it or a word describing it, I'd love to hear what you think or thought. Everyone's so shy. Bummer. There's no wrong answer. There's no wrong phrase. What I'm trying to achieve is sometimes I've been able to play music, like when my dad would come home from work and maybe it was a stressful day and I could say, hey, sit down, close your eyes, listen to what I'm doing, what I'm getting ready for a lesson. And I would look over when I was done and he had fallen asleep. So the stress from his day had disappeared. Or sometimes I've played at concerts and people come up to me afterwards and they're just so emotional because maybe a song that I played remembered a wonderful memory in their head of a trip or a family outing or an event. And they heard that music somewhere or somebody in their family played that song. So music is just a fantastic gift. It just touches the soul. And while that's why it's a universal language. If you can't speak somebody's other language, if you're visiting a foreign country, Music is a universal language. It's so cool. So what I'd like to do now is go to the cuckoo sheet. I just want to show you a preview of next time. We're going to work a little more on mixing white keys, black keys. And this song is entirely white keys. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Cuckoo. Yes. So I wrote on here. Little C. We'll get into the placement of the keys next week a little bit. So I'll just show you, okay? So on my piano, the maker of this is the Baldwin. To the left at the two black group, that's my middle C. But this song I'm going to play up here. So C's to the left of my two black key group. And I just lay my fingers here side by side. And cuckoo goes like the numbers this way. Five, hold, three, five, hold, three, two, one, two, three, hold, one, five, hold, three, five, hold, three, two, three, two, one, and hold, two, two, three, hold, two, three, three, four, five, hold, three, five, three, five, three, four, three, two, one, and this time I'll play it and I'll just sing the words. Coo, 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 where are you hiding? Coo, 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 where is your tree? I'm looking for you. I want to find you. Coo, 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 please come to me. Could you comment if you could see that okay, or if you have any questions about that? Again, we'll spend more time next week on this. Okay. All right. And one other little fun thing. I hope you this is a fun exercise to do for maybe like two minutes any time and any situation. Kitchen table, couch, car. You go, hey, how are you today? And whenever anybody speaks back to you, they must speak back a rhythm. Hey, I'm doing good. How was work today? Man, we had so many meetings. It was a hard day. I need a break. I need some food. I need some sleep. Anything. So, hey, kids, what did you play today? Did you go for a run? Did you go outside? Was it snowing? Did you make a snowman? Hey, mom, what's for dinner? And maybe your mother will say, spaghetti and meatballs. 
and a brown and a salad. But you're going to go to bed early because you did and clean your room. Rhythm is just fun and you can involve everybody in your family in it. And it's a way just to give you a break from what's going on in the world. So again, rhythm, musical keys and notes, add that together, give it some expression and it creates music, which is the beautiful international language. So I hope you had a great time today. Thanks so much for adjusting your time to meet my schedule. Again, I apologize for that. Hopefully the next two weeks we are A-OK, -okay, normal time. And we will do a little bit more of I play something. And maybe what we can do next time is have colors. If you're younger, crayons, a blank sheet of paper, and you just try to draw what my music is sending from my soul to your ears. And it's a beautiful thing. So. And then I'd love to see some of your pictures, or if you feel comfortable sending Nick some of your comments, words, or phrases, what the songs I did play today made you think or remember in your head. Um, it's always fascinating to me because every song means something different to somebody else's soul because of your life experiences. So have a tremendous week. See y'all later. All right. Bye bye. Thank you, Asa. Have a good Thanks, weekend. Nick. We'll see you next time. Thanks.